There is still some uncertainty surrounding when Peter Gerace may stand trial. The owner of Pharaoh's Gentlemen's Club faces bribery, drug trafficking, and sex trafficking charges. He appeared in a federal courtroom today, and our Dave McKinley was there. Dave joins us now in the newsroom with the latest. Dave? Mary Allison Scott, according to sources close to him, Gerace is eager to get his day in court, but for reasons of scheduling, that still may not come for some time. Gerace appeared in gray striped prison garb and said hello to a couple of supporters seated in the courtroom gallery. And while he may have hoped to gain some clarity as to when he will be put on trial, he left the courthouse with no more certainty than when he arrived before being taken in this squad car back to the Chautauqua County Jail where he's being held without bail. While a judge has ruled that one of his attorneys, Eric Sainline, seen on the left in the glasses, can stay on the case, the government's unsuccessful attempt to have him disqualified from representing Gerace caused another delay in the proceedings. Meanwhile, his co-defendant, Joseph Bongiovanni, a former DEA agent accused of accepting bribes from Gerace and others, awaits a retrial after a jury was unable to reach a verdict on 12 of the 15 counts against him. Prosecutors say they're ready to go now and hope to start that retrial no later than mid-June. But scheduling conflicts with other cases involving Bongiovanni's lawyers now leaves that up in the air as well. This also came up in court today, a thick packet of material sent by Gerace to two on your side and at least one other news outlet. It contains a lengthy statement where Gerace accuses lead prosecutor Joe Trippi of misconduct, claiming Trippi pressured vulnerable witnesses to the point where they took their own lives. He specifically names former state Supreme Court Justice John Mahalski, labeled as an unindicted co-conspirator, and Crystal Quinn, a former employee at Pharaohs. According to Therese, both had mental health issues and previous suicide attempts, which Trippi unethically exploited. There's also police reports on some of the witnesses expected to testify against Therese. The judge suggested if this material's been disseminated to news outlets, prosecutors should be able to look at them as well. Of course, they'd have to get them from DeRace. Those who followed the story might recall the two were supposed to be tried together. The government's motion to disqualify DeRace's lawyer caused the judge to sever the cases. Now that that issue has been resolved, the judge did bring up the possibility of rejoining them and putting Bon Giovanni and DeRace on trial together at the same time. But that appears, at this point at least, unlikely. On your side in the newsroom, Dave McKinley, Channel 2 